Hey everyone, my name is Ka Ching Song. I am the community manager on the Fusion 360 team. You can see behind me, we're at BattleBots 2021 World Championships. There's about 65 teams here in Las Vegas competing for that number one title. And uh, yeah, we want to give you guys an inside look at some of the teams, what they're like, what inspired them to design the robots that they've designed. And uh, yeah, just an inside look. So come on in and uh, let's check it out. Problems we're trying to solve. So. Oh, I think you... <laughs> they just... They just like, walk. <laughs> Okay. Uh, should we should we try? Is that okay? Yeah, because they also have the uh, impact in the background. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we try that question one more time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Hey, I am here with Lisa Winter. Uh, this is really cool to be able to talk to you. You're one of the judges for Battle Boss 2021. You've been a judge for for quite a long time. Yeah, a couple years now. So I started as sort of a rotating judge, and past couple years full time. That's that's so cool. Uh, what? What got you into robotics? Like what, yeah, what was that like for you? I started doing robotics in the late 90s because uh, my dad was actually in one of the first ever competitions. Wow. Uh, it was called Robot Wars and it was in San Francisco. And he actually won first place and he brought back these tapes of, of the robots and it was just a couple of them at that time. Wow. And I was like, like, why aren't, why wasn't I there? Like, um, I want to build a robot. So, um, so that's how it started. So, so you, you I started designing yeah. and, and, you know, came to that competition a couple, like two years later. What was, so you, were you were part of the team then at, the, at that time? Um, it was sort of like a family unit. Um, so my dad had a robot, I had a robot. Uh, and he, you know, he taught me how to use all the tools and yeah. everything like that. That's so cool. What, what do you love about robotics? I love the creativity and um, like with this kind of sport, I, I really do like the fighting and the controlling of the robot. Yeah. That's the most fun. Um, but you know, I like artistic robots and just sort of drawing up fun, unique weapons and designs that are that are going to look cool and be fun to control. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, you so you're one of the three judges. You're kind of in this uh, in this seat where you know you get to kind of determine the result of some of these matches. Uh, was it like judging for BattleBots? <laughs> it's extremely stressful <laughs> because um, I understand what the builders are going through. I know that it sort of feels like life and death when when you're waiting for that decision. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I just try and be as, as on point to the judging rule book as possible. Yeah. And this year we have a matrix um, to make our scores more even across the board. And I think it's really helping. When you're not involved with BattleBots, um, what what do you do as as like a day job? Um, so I'm the head of hardware at a startup that's called Quartz, and we're also in San Francisco. Um, and we put all these like high resolution cameras and sensors onto tower cranes and construction sites around the crane, um, and giving basically like a backup camera to a tower crane operator. Um, and also live video feeds that anyone can see it from anywhere um, around the construction site. Um, I'm gonna switch gears a little bit and talk more about Fusion 360, because I heard that throughout this season you've been, or maybe even before that, I'm not exactly sure how long, but I've heard that you've been using Fusion 360. Um, yeah, what's that like for you? Uh, it, are you using it for fun or are you actually using it for like design work? I use it for everything, but yeah, I've actually, um, in. I think 2016 uh, was, or also 15 possibly, was sponsored by Fusion 360 for with my robot, uh, and so I designed Mega Tento completely with Fusion. Um, so. That's so cool. Me, I've been on the Fusion team since 2012, and to hear that you've been using this, like I didn't even know that you've been using this, and that we <laughs> like sponsored you, your robot. So. It's always awesome to hear stories of like folks like you using Fusion 360 and doing it for work or for fun. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. So now I'm like a big fan of you too. <laughs> well, Lisa, thank you so much for talking to me. It's yeah. been a pleasure interviewing you. And yeah, hopefully uh, we'll see you, see you guys again next year. Yep, thank you. Cool, thank you.